Hi, my name is Marin Zubazik, and I'm a music producer and keyboard player. Here in our studios, we do a lot of work for artists and bands, TV and film, as well as corporate clients. Two years ago, I became a musical director for a Michael Jackson musical called Beat It. The whole pre-production was done here in our studios with my two IOX and the DigiGrid system. Some time ago, I was on tour with an Iranian artist flying around the globe, and our sound technicians had the LV-1 with them, with the IOX, which was a pretty cool thing, because wherever we went, we always had the same sound. We didn't depend on the venue and the country to give us the board we wanted. So we came to the venue, set up the LV-1, and we had always the same sound everywhere we went. That was the first time I saw the system and it made me curious because I really liked what I was hearing in my in-ears. So after the tour, I asked one of the guys, please lend me one of the IOX. I want to test it out in the studio. So when I came back from the tour, I installed the driver and I could switch in between my two recording systems because the other recording system was running through the PCIe card, which I had to my converters and the IOX was running on Ethernet. So I was just switching drivers in Cubase, listening to the IOX and listening to my old system. And I was pretty surprised how good the conversion of the IOX was, and even the preamps too. I still have my Neve sitting there, but if I want to record a drum kit in any other room here in the studio, I just take the IOX, run a CAT cable, and I'm ready to go. That's how easy it is. So finally, also being able to record through the mixer, through the virtual mixer with all my plugins of Desire, like, um, you know, putting a Sheps for getting a knee flavor in the microphone and uh, putting a CLA 76 just for having some uh, 1176 compression while I'm recording and also print this directly into the DAW, which I think this is an amazing thing. Um, because sometimes I got my Neve sitting up there and everything, I got my preamps, but sometimes, as I said, if I'm in a different situation or a different room, I can store this, I can get this up whenever I want to, you know, I save my preset, uh, you know, I load it in and for the different mics I want to, and I got my flavor, I got my compression, everything I, I want directly, which is really, really cool. And also when a band comes in and records, the band leaves the studio, comes back maybe one week later, everything is just saved in the mixer. So I don't need to care about preamping and, you know, uh, checking levels on the drums or on the guitar. You know, I just pull up my presets and I start recording directly. It's really, really cool. So to wrap it up, um, I think this system is amazing. I love it so much. And... Um, I cannot think of anything better for me right now because I'm able to do everything I want to do with it. I can track with plugins, which I really wanted always to have. There's no latency when you track. Um, you can save everything and you can combine interfaces. You can, you know, if you need more IOs, if you need other computers to sit in, uh, you just plug it in into the network and off you go.